Welcome to our webinar Scanning Various Targets. Today we'll experiment on two different kind of targets. The first one is a remote controlled drone. The second one is a metal plate which my colleague Andre will position in and outside the radar beam. What you see here is our overview scope. Our focus will be on the um, bottom right scope, which is the B-scope. This B-scope will show the targets that we will analyze now. We set our antenna into a pivoting mode between 90 and 120 degrees, meaning that the beam of the antenna will only capture objects or humans, as you just here see here. Uh, which move within that angle of 30 degrees. Our first experiment will be on um, a drone. We'll save our recording. Um, we do raw data recording, meaning that uh, um, the raw data is captured and can be played back in our scopes uh, uh, asynchronously. Um, meaning that we can do all the experiments in that stored f uh, recorded files just as we would do it in real life. You see the uh, drone moving here. It's, a, it's perfectly safe to do that indoors um, as well as perfectly safe to um, operate with our little low power radar which is in fact uh, working with a power which is compared comparable to one fiftieth of the power of a mobile phone so no problem you see here Eric is trying to position the drone in the uh, pivoting angle of the um, antenna yeah now it happens and you can see in the B scope that whenever the beam is uh, uh, passing the drone, it uh, is displayed on uh, the B scope. We consider it important to work with any kind of targets. Uh, that is real life uh, situation, meaning if you move the target out of the antenna beam it will disappear like in reality so we we are no advocates of uh, things like target tables or rails which uh, position the targets in front of your antenna that's not real life this what you see here this is how we should practice it yeah you see the beams you see the um of it displayed now andre is joining in with the metal plate which of course has a, a big cross section He's moving around with it and uh, the antenna should be able to uh, capture this as well. Eric is setting the distance to a short distance up to 4 meter. Now the beam should capture him. Yes, you see there. Yeah, the cross section is, is appearing big, of course, because um, of the low range that we have preset in the scope. Andre is placed on the left side of the beam, which is clear as we see that uh, um, the radar is opposite of the camera. So, of course, we see here uh, the mirrored impression of what the radar sees. So, that was a little introduction into uh, the sky radar measurement of drones. I hope you liked it. I hope you stay tuned.